Welcome back to the WHHI Daily News. Let's not leave north of the broad out of our charitable thoughts during Heritage Week. Oh, we got a tournament up there as well. Robin Zimmerman has more on the event this week in Beaufort. And we are here at Coosaw Point on Ladies Island in Beaufort County with two very special guests. We have Kevin Livingston and Benji Hill, and they are with the Beaufort Charities. So welcome. Thank <laughs> yeah, you. It's so Thank great you, to be here on Ladies Island and with you today. We're going to talk first about Beaufort Charities, a little bit about the history, and then we're going to talk about the golf tournament that is coming up in May, the Beaufort Charities Invitational. Right, Benji? Correct. All right. So, Kevin, let's start with you. You've been involved for many, many years before charities. It's evolved, and so it's grown so great. And so where are we today? Well, Beaufort Charities is one of the largest philanthropic uh, organizations in Beaufort County. We uh, specialize in raising uh, money through three or four different events that we do during the year, and we disseminate all that money back out to our local charities and needs groups in Beaufort County in the southern uh, northern half. And so it began uh, 42 years ago actually with a golf tournament to benefit the American Heart Association, but then it changed through the years to really benefit more nonprofits. There's a lot of need in Beaufort County. And so uh, have you been part of that change and vision? Well, I've been on the committee for uh, almost 40 years. I was on the golf committee for about 33 years. I ran the tournament for three years and I've been on the board for over 13 years. So I was there for most of it. All right, and so why do you do what you do? Uh, it's just, uh, it's wonderful to work with the people that we have. We've got a great set of people. We don't have any employees. We don't have any office. We don't have anything. Everything we do, we put right back in the community. And we really are proud of that. And Benji is another volunteer on the board, chairman, co-chair of the, of the golf tournament mm -hmm. coming up in May. So. We can go ahead and get reveal the dates and the entire sure. specifics. Uh, the golf tournament will be held at Fripp Island on um, May the 12th through the 14th. Right. And um, we'll play Friday and Saturday with a practice round on Thursday. All right, and so it, it takes a, a lot of players and a lot of volunteers, a lot of logistics. So <laughs> how many players are we talking about? Maybe, I don't know, 50? Uh, no? This year we expect 250 players. <laughs> <laughs> uh, with, That's pretty amazing. With about 60 volunteers wow. that will be out at Fripp helping us for the weekend. And so what is, so talk about <clears throat> kind of how it rolls out throughout the weekend. I mean, what can we expect? On Thursday, um, those that choose to will play a practice round and we will have a putting contest on Thursday afternoon along with our registration. Thursday evening, we'll have dinner and entertainment at the Ocean Point uh, Clubhouse. On Friday, we serve breakfast to all the players, and we have uh, a double shotgun Friday um, with 250 players. It takes a while to get, get them around the golf course. And then Friday evening, um, families and friends spend time together. And Saturday, right back at it on the golf course. And Saturday night, we'll have a closing uh, awards banquet. Wow, that sounds exciting. Yeah. Now, Kevin, the, the dollars that are generated from the golf tournament are mm -hmm. all are donated, and they'll be going back to the community, um, what non how do you decide which nonprofits get? Well, we actually have a fairly rigorous uh, vetting process that we go through. Um, we keep um, certain groups that we have been dealing with for years, we give them a donation every year. And then we have some that will spring up and every once in a while that's a situation that we're able to help out with as well. But we do keep back a little bit of our funds during the year because Occasionally, something will come up that might be an urgent need for a family in need that their home gets burned out or something like that. And we're able to step in and give them a check so they can go and get a place to stay and get some emergency, clothes and stuff. Yes, yeah. so, it's, so we do a lot of things like that. But yeah. So how do you guys operate with no staff? Just all volunteers. How? I mean, that's like a full-time job, actually. We've got good people. <laughs> it's, it's the people. It really is. And we couldn't do it without our volunteers and our committees. Um, and it sometimes does feel like a full-time job, but it's worth it. It really is. And so the golf tournament coming up, is that your largest fundraiser? And then you have the oyster roast and a few other things, too? Well, certainly the golf course is our, our largest from the standpoint of time and effort because it's several days and many different things. The oyster roast is just one day, although it's, it's getting to be pretty big. It's very popular. <laughs> All right. Any other messages you want to share with our community about the great work that Buford Charities is doing in this area? 
If you're interested in, in helping or volunteer, okay. uh, um, we are always looking for people. Um, you can go to our website at BufordCharities.org and reach out to us. Very good. Thank you. Love thank to you. have them. All right. Yeah. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you, Benji. Thank you. Nice to meet you, gentlemen. And we'll be right back. Thanks, Robin. We also want to thank you for checking out the new WHHI Daily News. I'm Bob Stevens. If you missed anything, we'll be back in 90 minutes.